everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the florette stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. Uh, it is a stitch that pattern that is fairly simple to work and it features this very subtle, pretty uh, texture and design. This is the front of your fabric and then this is your back. So we're going to be learning how to crochet this florette stitch. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Information for both of these items can be found in the description of this video, along with the direct link to the written instructions for the florette stitch. Those can be found on my blog at Rich Textures crochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, let's grab our hooks and our yarn and learn how to crochet the florette stitch. Our florette stitch today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making your slip knot. And for your foundation chain, you're going to need a multiple of two plus three stitches. So today I'm going to start with 23 uh, stitches in my foundation chain. There's 20, 21, 22, and 23. Once you have your foundation chain worked to the desired length, you're going to start by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Into that fourth chain, work one double crochet stitch. And then double crochet into each chain all the way across. the end of your row one you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to start a little bit of that texture and you're going to start by working a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over insert your hook into that next stitch and work a double crochet. You're now going to repeat that slip stitch into the next stitch and double crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way across. Slip stitch into the next stitch, double crochet into the next. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to work your final slip stitch into the top of that chain three. That was at the beginning of your previous row. So work your final slip stitch into the top of that chain three. You're then set to chain three, which will count as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. You should now see some of that subtle texture there coming on the other side. For row two, you're going to skip that first stitch because this counts, uh, your chain three counts as a stitch. Into the next stitch, into the top of the next double crochet, you're going to work a double crochet stitch and then double crochet into each stitch across. So into that slip stitch, double crochet, into the next double crochet, uh, double crochet, and you're going to do that all the way across. You'll work your final double crochet stitch into that first slip stitch.
I'm working my final double crochet into that starting slip stitch. I'm now going to chain one and turn my work. Now for the rest of your pattern, this is a wonderful two row repeat. So you're simply going to repeat the last two rows you worked. So slip stitch into that first stitch, double crochet into the next, repeat that all the way across when you reach the end, uh, chain three, turn your work and double crochet in each stitch all the way across. And that's all there is to working this floret stitch. So I would love to hear in the comments what you would uh, love to work in this stitch. And uh, be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.